Attack on Titan is finally over, and Aaron and Armin's conversation is probably the most important scene in the final episode of Attack on Titan. We find out some pretty big details in this conversation with Aaron revealing his plans to start the rumbling and kill most of humanity because he wanted the rest of the world to believe that Armin and Mikasa and the rest of Paradise Island are the heroes that took down Aaron Yeager. Aaron definitely downgraded from being this alpha male red pill figurehead to being a pathetic loser who couldn't confess his feelings for Mikasa, who obviously loved Aaron a lot. He's also shown to be an idiot who got himself with power who killed 80% of humanity. Armin questions Aaron that there has to be another way and Aaron reveals that this can't be undone which is weird because in the same conversation he says that he got Dina Fritz to eat his mom instead of eating Bertolt which feels like a significant thing to say because how I see it it shows that he had some type of power to change the past events to prevent this but all of this is big because no matter how you look at it there is no redemption at least in these shows for villains that do something mad crazy like you shouldn't expect a happy ending but what blows me away about this ending is how loyal armin is to aaron armin tells aaron that he will be in a hell but plot twist he says to him that they will carry the burden of killing 80 percent of humanity together taking on aaron's sin and crimes against humanity and spending afterlife in hell together now at first watching this scene i wanted to pick apart and prove that aaron was wrong and he can't be justified for what he's done and i still think i can make a case about that but it dawned on me that the scene is actually really beautiful not because armin decides to carry aaron's burdens and go to hell together but it's beautiful because what armin does for aaron can point us to something even better in our own lives killing most of humanity with the justification being that you want to have your people be looked at as international heroes or for the sake of freedom it's insane in real life we've had and we do have major killers who commit crazy acts against humanity humanity and other people and we look at them crazy because why would they do that they don't deserve happy endings they deserve to die but most of us would be crazy to say that we are taking on part responsibility for such evil acts a lot of fans look at this as a beautiful and encouraging scene because of armin's commitment to aaron if this made your heartstrings jump I think the parallels I see in this conversation to the Christian story will make you feel even better. Obviously, Armin can't take on Aaron's sin because he literally didn't do it. It's a symbolic effort in a story to show that Aaron doesn't have to feel like he's alone in what he's done. But most people won't look at Armin as the one who committed a crazy sin. Aaron has to pay the price for what he's done. But Armin, he decided to take part in that burden. In a much more real and impactful way for us, you and I may have not committed the crazy acts of genocide like Aaron, but you and I have sinned against the holy God. Think about it. You have done things and said things and thought things that you may not be proud of, but we try to make up for those things by doing good deeds, religious rituals, or keeping laws, but it's insufficient. We live our lives apart from God, and because of our own sin, our good works suck, and we deserve to be separated from him. But God in his love and mercy for us decided to take on the burden of our sin. 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. This is significant because although we stand opposed to God, Jesus came into this world to take on human form, to live the perfect life we cannot live, to die the death that we deserve, and then rise from the dead so that we could have a right relationship with God. Who? We were made for not only that trusting in jesus god promises to cleanse our heart to live a life of true freedom not a, a made-up idea of freedom a freedom that allows you to love god and truly love your neighbor as yourself armin taking on aaron's burden is a heartfelt moment that i think we can all appreciate because it shows how much of a caring friend armin is to aaron despite his horrific actions how much more in our real life, does God show his great love and mercy for us by sending his son to carry our burdens by our horrible actions? Those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think about the ending of AOT. If you haven't already, click that like and subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video.